Welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. This is Chetan here from Double Cube, and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to create this snowy banner here, right here in uh, Photoshop. Uh, we're going to be learning to use the oil paint effect and um, also a little bit of layer styles and a different technique to put in your social media links over here. It's a very fairly simple tutorial. So um, let's get to it. So what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to be referring my PSD file, which you guys can download. I'll, I'll keep it for download in the description so you guys can, uh, you know, use it. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you the, couple, the layers that I have and, uh, you know, show you how I made it. So the first thing you want to do is you can go to file and choose new. And since I'm making it for Twitter, I want the width and the height to be 1,500 by 1,500. Sorry, I'm sorry, 1,500 by 500. If you guys want it for YouTube, you can go to Google and just check out the dimensions and uh, that should work out. So once you click on OK, uh, I'm going to press Control 0 to fit, this, uh, fit the canvas to the screen. And uh, you want to get an image from Google or anywhere uh, of a snowy background. So I have a picture over here, which is going to just drag and drop. And uh, you don't want a picture which has only snow. You want some clouds, some mountains and also a couple of uh, you know the the snow down here you know you know what i'm talking about so the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead to filter and you want to choose oil paint now as soon as you click on oil paint you get a bunch of options over here and uh, a lot, lot of settings it looks pretty bad now i actually have a png i actually have a screenshot of the settings i use let me just get that okay so here you can see I have, uh, these are the settings. So stylization, 6, 7, 10, 10, 360. So let's put that down. 6, 7, 10, 10, 360. And shine to see Look at that guy. It looks so smooth and neat. It looks amazing. So let's just click on OK. And that should up. Look at that. It looks fantastic, guys. OK. So once you actually do that, I'll just go into my project files over here so I can show you guys. And I'm just going to go ahead and close on everything so that, you know, we can start from scratch. Okay, so the first thing is we have the um, smudged effect for the all paint. And the next one is you want to add a curves effect. So if you want to add a curve, you can just click on this button right over here. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not that one. This one, create a new fill adjustment layer. And you can choose on curves. And uh, let me just show you my curve settings. So let's stick that on. As you can see here, it gets a little darker. And uh, you can see this is the, it's, it's a simple curve that looks like this. And uh, the next thing is we want to add these lines. So how do you make this line? It's pretty simple. Gr create a new layer. So you can click on this button. And then you just want to go and check your marquee tool. And you just want to go ahead and drag a box. And then on the new layer, you want to go and make sure your foreground is set to white. So if I just turn this over for right and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose a fill and I'm going to go set it to a foreground color or background color, whichever you want and click on OK. And that's going to fill it up and you can go ahead and reduce the opacity to 25. I reduce mine to 25 and control D to deselect and then you can just hold control T to rotate it and you can just go ahead and rotate it and fit it up over here. And if you want to duplicate it, what I suggest you to do is you can press Control J, which is going to duplicate that for you. And if you see, you can just move it up slightly and you can select both of the layers, hit Control T and you can scale it up. So let me just Control Z that and uh, great. OK, so the next thing is we have this white overlay, right? So we have this nice, beautiful white overlay. It's a simple white overlay. So uh, how I actually did that is I went to the gradient tool, sorry, the gradient tool over here. And uh, you can go ahead and grab a black to white. I'm sorry, the black to white color. And I just went this set this to like, you know, somewhat is gray, not completely gray. And you can just go ahead and on a new layer, you can go ahead and just drag it from the left side to the right side. And uh, that should create your new layer. So if I just, let me just show you that once again. So you create a new layer and you're going to go ahead and right. Yeah, there we go. So it's kind of pretty much the same effect. Uh, I just reduced the opacity down to 45% as you can see over here and uh, that should do. Uh, the next thing is, is we have this snow. So I just went online and to Google and I got a snow picture and, and then I, so if, if I, if I actually go set it to normal and if I set this to a hundred, this, this is basically the picture that I found on Google. The only thing I did is I went and set the, uh, the opacity to, uh, sorry, the blending mode to screen and reduce the opacity down to 30 and that gives us a nice snowy effect. Okay, the next one is where we can start putting up our logo and, uh, you know, add some 
you know, drop in our text and stuff. So the first thing is we want to add this circle. So it's just a simple circle. Let me just zoom in and I'm going to press Ctrl plus to zoom in and that's going to zoom in. So you can just go ahead and grab a circle using the same methods. Use a mark elliptical marquee tool and you can hold down Shift, Ctrl and Alt to scale from the center and only Shift and Alt. Uh, okay. Uh, only shift uh, oops what happening so shift and control sorry shift and alt is going to go and get you a circle right from the center and if you want to align it you can just so click on the layer press control a and that's going to select everything then you can come here top and you can click on these two buttons which is align horizontal uh, layers and hori uh, align horizontal center vertical center and you know make sure that you're in the move tool if you want that Okay, so then we're going to add a couple of layer styles over here. So just I'm going to click on that and I have, I've added a color overlay with uh, this color code. So 191919 and you can go to drop shadow. And uh, these are the settings that I've used. The distance of 10 and the size of, sorry, distance of 3 and the size of 10. Excuse me. Okay. So once we have our logo, we can go ahead, sorry, our circle, we can go ahead and add in our logo. So I just added on my logo over here and I've added a just a drop shadow. So if you can see the difference, the drop shadow, similar settings where the distance is set to five. Okay, once that is done, we can go ahead and put in our placeholders. So our placeholders is basically, uh, if I just show you guys over here, it's basically a rectangle over here. So, uh, Pretty simple. So, the, so what I actually did was I grabbed a new rectangular uh, marquee tool, so like that. And then uh, I'm gonna I just gonna go fill it up. Okay, let's actually go create a new layer. Okay, so we're gonna right click and I'm gonna choose fill. I'm gonna fill it with white. Now, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna actually gonna go and select the pen tool. I'm gonna press P on the keyboard, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just click here on the corners to create this nice triangle over here and I'll press Control enter which is going to make it a selection and I'm going to hit delete and that's going to delete it and I get this nice slant so that's what I actually did on both of the sides also on same on here and the same on the other side as well so if I just show you on the other side it's yep there it is okay uh, we're going to come to this uh, the social media links a little bit later so yeah okay uh, so, so the, the layer styles that are applied to this are a simple color overlay, which is 191919, the same as a circle. And uh, if you go to drop shadow, we have the same thing. So it's 2, 4 for distance and the size respectively. Okay, then next thing we have is these two. So these are just additional elements. So what I actually did is I uh, created, uh, so I just made a copy of the, this layer. So, okay, let's actually go do it. So I'm just gonna press Control J to do duplicate. So I'm gonna get this layer right over here. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go delete the layer style because I don't want the layer style also to be uh, affected. So I'm just gonna go and choose a clear layer style and it's gonna give me only this black uh, 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 bar. I don't know what to call it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate it once again and then i'm going to go ahead and just fill it with a random color so let's just go to color overlay and set it to red and then i'm just going to move it slightly over here so to find the thickness of the picture i want and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to press Control and i'm going to click on this thumbnail over here and that's going to make a selection for me over here if you see guys this is going to make a selection and i'm going to go go ahead and press delete on this layer which is basically the black layer and what that is going to do is if I just delete the red layer, you can see now we have this. So this is the bar which I wanted. Now you can just go ahead and select all this and click delete and that's going to remove that. And you can just go ahead and copy paste the same layer styles by right clicking, click on copy layer style. And then you can come over here and choose right click paste layer style. Uh, paste layer style. Uh, oh, sorry. I mean, we didn't copy it. So you want to copy layer style. Come here and click on paste layer style and that's going to give up the same effects as the uh, overlay color and the shadow which we had for these big bars right so i just made a couple of copies on the left side and the right side if i just go to the right side i can probably show you there it is uh let's go up great now uh, now we can come ahead and uh, add on the social media link so what i actually did is uh i have i, I got a social media so so what actually i did is um i got the social media link pictures so i'm going to be using a simple text 
just to explain how I did it. So for example, if I just go and create new text and I'm just gonna go call this B, just a simple letter and we can just go ahead and the scale is down pretty low. So yes. Okay, so assume this is the social media icon of the picture. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and right rasterize this, but your object would have already been rasterized, so that's not gonna be a problem. And so if you see, this is our placeholder, right? So I'm just gonna go click on this B over here, and that's gonna create a selection for me over here. And if I come on this layer and I'm gonna hit delete, you can see it gets deleted. So since I had the thumbnail, so if I just go ahead and control and click, that's gonna create a selection around the B and I'm gonna hide the B layer and I'm actually gonna delete it because I don't want that. And then I'm gonna come over here on this layer and I'm gonna just press delete and that's gonna delete this up pretty nice and cool for me. Yeah. So that's how I got uh, these uh, holes in between uh, the, the bars. So I'm gonna just control Z that and I don't wanna just remove everything, okay. So you wanna do that. So I did that mine for Twitter, Behance, YouTube and Gmail. You can guys can go ahead and do it for whatever you want. Next is the fun part, which is adding the text. So if I go and show you the text over here, we have a simple, nice italics text. So the font that I'm using is Fugaz One. You guys can do it. It's an amazing slant font and I literally love it to the core. It's an amazing slant font. And uh, that is uh, pretty much it. Uh, I think there are a couple of uh, layer styles to it. Uh, not quite sure. So I think the uh, the only color I use for this, I think it's a simple color. So if I go and double click on this and go to the panel, yeah, we have a color. So the color code I'm using is CDD7E1 and that is the color code which I am using, which you guys can go ahead and use. Uh, so you just wanna make copies of that and if I make copies of that, uh, you can actually go ahead and see that and just place it out wherever you want. Double keep tutorials, best blaster, KVS Chathan and KVS Chathan, and uh, that's good. And next is just gonna have add a little bit of ripple effect. So, so let me just show you how I did this. So this little ripple effect is basically uh, th these things. So how it how how you wanna do it is so you wanna go ahead and copy this uh, circle that you have. So so let me just make a copy of that circle. So we have a circle right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Remove everything and just go to color overlay and set the color to white. All right, I'm gonna remove the drop shadow as well. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go move it to wherever I wanna place it, All right? And then what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go duplicate it again. So we're gonna have another circle and I'm actually gonna fill this black so that you guys can have a better look at it. So go to color overlay. I mean, there are a couple, there are, there are a lot of ways of achieving this result, but the quickest, quickest way is what I like to prefer. I mean, anybody would prefer. So once I do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and press Control T and I'm gonna go scale it down. You wanna hold down Shift and Alt to scale it down uniformly. And then we're gonna get something like this. And then the simple, same effect, the same technique that I used, you wanna hold Control, click on the thumbnail. That's gonna make a selection or on this black circle. And then you wanna go to the big circle and you wanna hit Delete. And all that is gonna do is they're gonna go ahead and uh, just create let's delete this so that's going to go ahead and just create this nice circle that we have over here and you can just move it to the left and right and uh, then you want to go ahead and you can go ahead and reduce the opacity so as you can see here the opacity is pretty low so i can go ahead and uh ripple so the opacity maybe set that down to i don't know let's, let's actually move it over here so we can have a better look maybe raise the opacity down to 20 uh, or maybe 10 yeah i think five yeah five was the I think the same opacity I used. And now as you can see over here, it is coming over this place. So what you wanna do is again, uh, go to the the right placeholder that we have. So if I just hide it, this is what? You hit control and that's gonna create a selection around this. And then now you wanna go click on the circle, the copy that we have, which that be the, the, the ripple circle. And you wanna hit control shift I, that's gonna reverse the selection. And when I hit delete, you can immediately see that it gets cut and it, it applies only on the bar. So basically that's the only thing. If I move it around, you can see what we have. And then I just made a copy of that and I merged them together. So you wanna merge two layers, you can go select them, right click and choose merge layers, or you can use a shortcut Control E to do that. And then I just uh, duplicated the whole uh, ripple right and then I just hold it move it on to the left and uh, by pressing Control T, right click and choose flip horizontal and that's gonna move it up and you can just go ahead and move it up. Okay, so once that is done, 
the only thing left is to add a little bit of color collection so since it's uh you know uh blue in color for the snow are you know just the most suitable one i just added a gradient map so these are the color settings that i have so we have 2c5857 and then we have a lighter version of a cyan blue that is c1dfe7 so that is the colors and you can just go ahead and drop that on and uh, let's just have a look at it again so you can just you, you can put whatever you want doesn't matter and uh, that's the final color correction let me just put on the logo back on to show you how it finally looks okay i think i deleted my logo damn oh okay that, that's fine but you know the logo was there so uh that's how you create this logo that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys hope you guys really enjoyed it it was a pretty fun and simple tutorial if you guys want more tutorials or more other stuff uh you know any que any questions or requests feel free to contact me on twitter uh, as you can see, the social media link is right on the screen and uh, all, all the other social media links are there in the description as well. I'm also available on Skype if you guys want to chat with me. Um, pretty much appreciate that. And uh, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.